the Browns will have Grant Delpit back. Like Maybe yeah. for Saturday's playoff game for Houston. Uh, let's jump right into that. How big is that for the Browns if he's able to suit up and go? Hey, the guys who have filled in have done a very good job, but Grant Delpit is the starter for a reason, yeah. right? So, listen, in the playoffs, you <laughs> want as many of your good players as you can possibly have. Obviously, there's you know there's other injured players you'd, you'd want more. We talked about this yesterday. But certainly, if he can come back, and f- technically, I know some people are asking about this, he hasn't been activated from the IR yet. He's been designated to return <laughs> from the IR. What that means is he can now practice with the team, but the reason they haven't activated him officially yet is they don't know if he's going to be able to play this week, and if he's not going to be able to play, you don't want to activate him because if you activate him, you have to cut someone else. Yeah, it's, so there is a, a distinction there. Yes. It's a smart move by the Browns. Yeah. It's the only move, really. Yeah, I, you know, I'm glad to see him um, back in the fold. Uh, that's what we were hoping to get. You know, if you get to a situation where you can rest your guys, um, so you got Obo Akaranko is is back. It looks like you can possibly get Grant Delpit back, um, and uh, Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore uh, got back, and you're looking to possibly see if a uh, Juan Thornhill um, can uh, you know shake the calf injury and him come back. And it would be the first time we've seen in a while, um, pretty close to to the starting. You know, defense being back intact. Obviously, yeah. Anthony Walker going to IR, IR, but and Hurst. I mean, those are Hurst, the only two yeah. guys yeah. that played a lot that are that are out. And still the timing defense. is great. I mean, yeah. as much as we bemoaned all the injuries and rightfully so during the yeah. regular season, the hope was all along. Let's get these guys healthy and ready for the real season. Yeah. And it yeah. looks like they're getting as close to that as they have been at any point in in recent memory. Anyhow, um, my, I have one question for you guys: Can Grant Delpit kick? Yeah. Um, uh, well, my goodness. Um, yeah, we'll get. Nah, yeah, I, I mean, know. we're going to talk about that yeah. in just a minute, but it doesn't sound like it's good news on no. that front for the Browns. No, Kevin Stefanski said yesterday he is very unlikely to play. Yeah. I mean, he would now. And what makes me nervous is even if they win, the fact that he's basically ruled them out on a Tuesday yeah. makes me worried that he wouldn't be ready next week. I thought it was premature, and maybe it's gamesmanship. I mean, I don't know what yeah. they would have to gain by making Houston think we're not going to have our kicker. But I, I, I just felt it was odd for an yeah. injury like this that is we know is week to week that on Tuesday you're right. already ruling him out five right, days right. in advance. We'll, we'll dive into the kicker in one sec, but I do have a question about Delpit. So he's designated to return. Let's say in a hypothetical world he is healthy and able to go on Saturday. Yeah. I'm assuming he takes one of the starting spots at safety. Who else would you start alongside Delpit at the other safety spot? Well, Thornhill's healthy, right? Well, he missed he practice yesterday. You know, he's been The expectation is he will be – I mean, if he played, if, if they're both ready to go, I assume they'll both start. And Ronnie Hickman will be That's rotated I in. Now, I mean, neither one of those guys is going to be 100%. Right. Usually a safety is going to play almost every play. But I would think they would still at least Ronnie Hickman get in the mix a little bit. Don't yeah, you think, I think, I think Hickman might be the first guy off the, um, first guy off the bench. Uh, but here's another thing, too. Um, you know, you look at Hickman and you look at uh, DeAnthony Bell. Those are two of your special teams guys, right? So yeah. now those guys can really concentrate if they're not going to play. They could be they could be all out on special teams, and they, you're not going to worry about those guys getting gas or whatever. But they'll rotate in. They'll they'll get they'll get some um, you know get some snaps because at the end of the day, you got a groin injury and a calf injury. You're not going to be playing every snap on a groin and a calf, especially right. with yeah. your first game back. They'll rotate in and uh, they'll, they'll pick their spots. Yeah. And I would expect that they, they would use Delpit more on rundowns as well because you want them to be up in the box. It's quicker for him to attack than backpedal and have to cover people. Yeah, and I think the, the, the reason for optimism if you're the Browns is if you have to go too deep at safety on the rotation – I think we all feel pretty good about that based oh, yeah. on how they play. Yeah, I mean, listen. It's not like they're time, exposing a huge weakness. We could complain about the injuries on offense <clears throat> plenty. The, the sure. offense is missing a lot of guys. Yeah. Defensively, every team's got some injuries. It's January. At this point of the year, if the only guys the Browns are missing are Hurst and Walker, they're in great shape on defense. And that's important because that is the strength of this team. Yeah. As great as Joe Flacco has played, as much as the offense has been better, the strength of this team remains the defense. And that is, they need that unit to be healthy. And right now, Absolutely. they're getting very healthy. A couple other guys who didn't practice guys yesterday. We don't want to panic about it. It's early in the week. Right. It's more like walkthrough. Uh, at running back, both Kareem Hunt and Pierre Strong 
didn't practice. For Kareem Hunt, it's probably no big deal. He's been basically hurt the whole right. year yeah. and fighting through it. We know he's tough. Giving he's him time play. off is what you're doing. The yeah. interesting one is strong because you say, well, he's the third running back, but you want to have three running backs. You'll need them. You know, they could they could call up John Kelly from the practice squad. He's been around. He's you know, he seems to have a big game every preseason every year. Or they could sign somebody else. Wouldn't shock me if they signed somebody else today because you know, Pierre Strong hurt his back. He got carted off. Hopefully, I mean, I like the guy. I keep wanting to play. But if he doesn't practice today, you would think that either Kelly gets bumped up from the practice squad or they sign somebody because you, you don't want to have just two running backs. No, going you'll into need a three. Game. I think yeah. you'll need three. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, you'd think that they're going to be more pass heavy than run heavy. Right. But, but still, you still like to have three going in. Uh, our first hello and good morning.